All right, today on the Send It Mafia channel, we're going to get right into it. We're building a 454 standard bore big block Chevy. Um, right now, I'm going ahead and gapping all of the rings, trying to make sure that each cylinder is going to not have any issue with the rings butting together and touching, we're lifting a ring land and breaking another piston in this motor. And yeah, so now we're going to get right into it. Enjoy. This is round three with my big block Chevy. The first time, this is what happened. This piston came apart and just shattered. Hope you could see that, I hope it's focusing. This, this just came apart. I had a valve seat, and you can see pieces of that embedded there, a valve seat fall out of the piston and it exploded. The second time, I made the uh, spicing a little too, too uh, the, the timing a little too spicy. And you can see right there, that is a ring land. It's supposed to go right there with the piston rings. <laughs> it's not supposed to be quick release. So now I've got these pistons <laughs> and I just got finished ringing them. I'm getting ready to install them. And hopefully this time, this time it won't blow up. It remains to be seen, but I have a good feeling about this. Third time's the charm.
So now, as you can see, the lights have come back on, thankfully. We've got all the pistons installed. We're going to install the oil pump now. Make sure the oil pump drive rod's in and everything's aligned. Make sure it spins freely. Check to make sure the whole motor spins over. Then we're going to move it around, make sure that everything is clean. And then we're going to go get the uh, camshaft and get everything ready to install that. Check on uh, all the specs that we need to know. I'm just going to make sure to lubricate it up really well and slide it into place. Then this is a Gen 6 big block Chevy, so you've got a cam retainer and two cam retainer bolts that go on. Put a little bit of blue Loctite on there, that'll really help make sure that they stay in place like they're supposed to. And then put the timing chain on. Make sure you have everything timed properly. As you can see, the number one piston is uh, top dead center. So you've got number one piston, then you put dot to dot. Put your three cam retainer bolts in. Or, uh, and make sure you use blue Loctite. Then you can put the cover on. Make sure you get a little silicone at the edges. Then you put the balancer in place. You want to make sure you have the balancer firmly installed. That way you don't stress the threads in the crankshaft whenever you're trying to send the uh, crankshaft bolt home. Now that we've got all that done, put your crank bolt in and get ready to do the oil pan. Make sure you get a little bit of silicone in the edges where everything goes. If you want to, you can do like I do and put a very light bead uh, or light, light smear of silicone all over everything just to help make the gasket stick and make sure that everything's in place like you need it to be. Put the pan on, tighten everything down, and then hope that your uh, oil pan will leak or just trust your work. Either one works. Um, should be a good install. This one has been in the truck actually for a little while and uh, so far the oil pan has not leaked at all. So that's been awesome. Right there I'm copper coating the uh, water passages making sure that there's a little bit of extra sealant on both the cylinder head and on the block. Just trying to make sure that I get as, everything as sealed up as I possibly can. Doing head studs, you can see here, go get the uh, Teflon. Make sure to Teflon each of those uh, Head bolts, they're not studs, that's my bad. Make sure you want to put Teflon on each one of those because it goes down into the water jacket. And if you don't have that on there, you will end up getting liquid coming out of your head bolts, and that is not a good thing. So do the same thing on the other side and put it all together. Now that we have our cylinder heads on and our lifters installed, we can go ahead and make sure everything's good and lubricated, and then we can install the push rods. Now the lifters, because it's a Gen 6 big block, have a uh, retainer plate that sits over the top of them, and it holds two lifters in place and keeps them from turning on the camshaft, which is what really makes these uh, roller rocker arms, or rollers, roller lifters work. You can see I set the uh, spider down in there, tighten that down, and then make sure all the valves are tightened down or at least starting to compress so that way it has uh, 
some tension on it. You don't get any push rods moving around while you're installing it. Uh, all of these push rods, they're not adjustable push rods. So you're going to actually torque them. You can see me there. I'm torquing the push rods to spec or getting ready to. And then valve covers and intake go on. Now we're taping it up. You'll have to forgive me a little bit here. I'm still a little bit new to YouTube and some of the footage that I had got corrupted so you don't have all of the footage that I would have liked to have here. Um, but the engine is now done. And here we're going to install it in the truck. Gotta get the flywheel on. And again, we lost unfortunately some of the footage because you'll see here in a moment, it's gonna jump from us making sure that everything's ready and getting the truck set up the way we need it to, to the engine being in the truck. So there I go in the truck and out of the truck, and then bam, all of a sudden, engine is installed. You can see in the background there, there's an El Camino being worked on that, uh, something I'm hoping to race. It's got a uh, pretty rowdy small block in it, so hoping to have, go run with it. Here we're putting the distributor in. We've got to make sure that everything's at the number one top dead center and that everything lines up. I was having trouble getting the oil pump guide rod to line up and sit solidly in the distributor, but we got it eventually. Wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic, you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic I'll go to last with the webs I'm weaving I can change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them If you take off the gas I just wanna be iconic, sipping on a gin and tonic, got me going off on a mindless topic. Yeah. If I ever play, I want it. You know that I'm always honest. Stay away from those who are toxic. Keep by your face, no way you don't want it. Yeah. Don't try to drain my energy. The enemy is everything. It's mentally unhealthily spreading like a rare disease, but I won't let it get to me. I don't need your therapy. I can leave a legacy of leading by intensity. Come on, we can fight this. Freedom is priceless. Spread just like. 
like a vibe.